Hello and welcome to this Wappler version 4 series where I will explain the project manager. The project manager is used to create new projects, switch between projects, remove projects, set up an FTP connection and even create a project based on an existing Git repository and more. When I start Wappler for the first time, I am confronted with a welcome screen. This screen is in fact, the project manager, albeit with one aspect that is missing. I will explain the missing part later on. Here I can create a new project, clone an existing project, open an existing Wappler project. As well as that, there are a number of actions that I can take the project's window. I will explain these further on. At this stage, creating a new project would be the first priority. For this purpose, I will create a blank web application. Here I am asked for a project name and a project folder. The hosting type and server model will be discussed under their own topics. When I save the project, the project manager, in a different format, has moved to the top of the screen. The plus sign is labeled, New Project. This is the exact same dialog as the one that showed when I created a new project from the welcome screen, with the same options. I can hide and show the applications panel. This icon allows me to open an existing Wappler project. The following icon allows me to clone a project from GitHub. Here I can sort the projects. Or even search for a project. Lastly, here I can resize the images for the projects. In the apps panel, I can choose to create a web app. A mobile app or a desktop app. From the welcome screen, I created a new project using the blank template. By the same token, I could have used one of the starter pages. Or even one of the templates. Here you will notice that, both the mobile and desktop apps, do not require a hosting type, or a server model. The down arrow is labeled, Open Project. This option is ideal when you are working with multiple projects where you have a need to quickly switch from one project to another. If the icons along the top look familiar to you, then you are right. They perform the exact same operations as with the new project panel. I'll let the video go quietly through the options while I have a sip of my cuppa. The last option is labeled, Manage Projects. Choosing this item, places buttons along the top edge of the project image. The first button, allows me to duplicate the chosen project. I will speed the video up and sit back silently while the project is being duplicated. Here we see that the project has been added. So far, we have seen that we can add projects to Wappler. But as the number of projects grows, we will need to do a bit of housekeeping. In the projects panel, I'll add a new folder. I can now move a couple of the projects into the new folder. In the same way, as an example, I can create folders for current and archived projects. Just follow your imagination. Lastly, I can delete a project if I so desire. For this, I click on the Manage Projects item and choose the second button on top of the project image. Bingo! Gone project. But I did not really want to get rid of that project. Wappler makes this easy to fix. Removing a project from Wappler does not remove the project from the system. All I need to do to retrieve the project, is to create an existing Wappler project. And I am done. If you want to delete a project entirely, then, after deleting it from Wappler, you will need to go into the system and remove it from there. One word of warning. 
If you want to completely remove the project, then you must delete it from Wappler before deleting it from your system. The last part of the project manager is called project settings. This is the part that I was alluding to while discussing the welcome screen. The first panel that shows is the general tab. Setting the design framework at this stage is very important if you are planning to work with the theme manager. The rest of the entries can remain at their default values. These depend on the hosting type and server model that was chosen when the project was created. Under the Frameworks tab, you can add and delete the frameworks that you want to use in the project. Here I will replace Font Awesome with Bootstrap icons. With the Targets tab, I can set the targets that I want to use for the project. At the bottom left of the screen, you will see that the target has been set to local. This is because I am using Wappler's built-in server. This is a web server only and can be used for projects that have no server-side interaction. In reality, the project would contain server-side code, like PHP or Node.js. In this case, we need to set up targets for local development and remote production. The targets can be created by clicking the plus button. In the new target panel, I enter the target name. This can be anything to your liking as long as it is meaningful. The web URL must be entered. This again depends on the server type and the port number. In this case, the access type is local folder, so I choose the relevant folder. Test the connection when done. If I want to deploy the site, I will need to enter different settings. For this I choose production as the usage. I name the target to reflect this. This time, the URL will be the remote address. The access type is some kind of file transfer protocol. The FTP connection information will need to be entered to activate the connection. When done, test the connection. The target that is to be used, must be set at the bottom of the screen. And that is it for the project manager. At this stage, you may have questions regarding detailed information, especially when referring to remote connections. These will be answered in the series called, Using Wappler version 4. Don't forget to subscribe. That way you will be notified when a new video is published. My name is Ben Pleasier. Thank you for watching.